Thanks, Sam. With us, I'm Bill O'Reilly, and he has a legal segment tonight. Very intense situation surrounding Sergeant Bo Bergdahl. As you may know, he's about to go on trial for deserting his unit in Afghanistan. Among the charges leveled at Bergdahl, at least two soldiers were wounded searching for him after he left his post. Now, a judge will decide whether that evidence will be admitted in the case. With us, our is a legal team, Kimberly Goldfall and Lise Wheel. Why wouldn't a judge allow that in? It's part of the whole thing. Absolutely, I agree, but I'll answer you the question. The judge might say it's not relevant to the charges. I don't agree with that. The judge could say, even if it's relevant, it's so prejudicial, it might harm his case. And so there was. It would harm his it. case. Well, that's what's called good evidence, right? Yeah. But it, that there is something that in the case, in the law, that says it's relevant. When but is it's the judge so going to make. I, I, I understand right. it, but mm -hmm. it's part of what happened. Right. When mm -hmm. is the judge supposed to make the decision? Okay, so he, he can take his time essentially to make it, but December 16th is the next pretrial hearing. He'll right. make up his mind. He'll give his ruling then, but this is really a Is he going to give issue. his ruling on December yes. 16th? Yes, he will. On this, on this yes. desertion thing? Yes, and here, okay. here's the bottom line. This evidence is probative, and I feel relevant. It's not going to be something that's too prejudicial. It goes directly to the charge of misbehaving before the enemy, and he's only asking the prosecutor to have two specific Instances of officers that and soldiers that were injured right. during this time. Right, there's two of them. In. One was dead. One was right. killed. Right, right. And one was. No. Yes, one particular one was had had um, was shot in the head, suffered right. a traumatic brain stroke, but then survived. And the other one is Morito, was struck in the right hand okay. by so a the gun guy, grenade. So the guy with the traumatic brain injury is mm -hmm. still alive. Yes, he okay. ended up surviving. Right. So um, uh, if you didn't watch us last week. Uh, Wheel predicts that President Obama will not pardon Colbert Dahl because the trial is going to be uh, in April, the formal trial. And you, Guilfoyle, predict he will pardon Boberg. Correct. And you, O'Reilly, predict who, that. Who is always. Right. Thank you. Well, that's because you two are agreeing with what each do, what other. What do I predict? And the that he will be pardoned out. on his last day. Yes. That I believe Barack Obama, on his last day in office, yep. will pardon a whole bunch of people. No. All right? No. In, well, yes, he will. But right, he including will. including Brian Kilmeade. <laughs> or crimes okay. Okay. Can we get right. one for Wheel? Uh, I don't <laughs> know about that. Crimes against but he illegal. will, because uh, uh, President Obama does not want this trial to go forward, particularly if that ruling December 16th says that the, this evidence that the two uh, well, soldiers were hurt searching yes. for this deserter. The evidence will okay. come in, but I still stay, maintain with my prediction that, that once Obama said, I've already stuck my <clears throat> neck out once, I'm not going to do it again. Well, there were well, others we'll that were injured and it lost their lives. Noted. But this is as to a particular. Should be noted that Will will not put up any money for charity to back up her assertion. Huh? Ladies, thank you.